Ricky and I have been really into the sealed stuff lately. Dang, Jojo. Let's go, Jojo. Jojo. Ooh, the Sega oh, Master SMS. System. Wow, dude. This is like good titles, Ricky. And I'll buy both because I'm not sure which variant I already have. It's still a little dark out, but first thing in the morning. 10 bucks each for box only on these, but which is great for me because we actually just bought a bunch of consoles with no boxes. So look at that, just like that from our amazing friend, the Deluxe 3D World set and the Mario Bros. Wii set. Let's freaking go at like five in the morning. Look at it. Ricky said this thing's in good condition. Oh, it's looking good. Oh dude, this thing's nice. Oh my gosh. What the frick? A quick little pause to talk about something that honestly surprised me. And that's the Litany Cozy Fit Open Ear Headphones. As someone who's in headphones most of the day because of editing and running, these almost shocked me at how comfy they actually were. When I put these on, I almost didn't even know if I was putting them on right because there wasn't any like weird shoving into crevices in your ear or anything like that. It basically kind of hangs over your ear, but in a way where it feels super stable, yet super lightweight. There's also a good dynamic sound experience and eco-friendly speakers and enhanced bass technology for deep, powerful bass. This was probably the most comfy set of earpieces I ever put on. I'm telling you, you will feel like you're wearing nothing, but I promise you they're there and they actually look nice. I love the beige, by the way. I would totally check these out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go. So what's funny is everybody walked away from this and Tony, nobody looked. There's a game in here. Let's see what it is. Come on, come on, come on. Sonic Forces couldn't have been anything worse. <laughs> Check this out, Ricky. Come on in, Ricky. You gotta see this. Look right here. Oh! What's in here? Okay, Dusty said it just look at this real quick. So Dusty's unit is packed right now, but there might be others diving into it as well. So we don't want to snake any. I know we typically jump in on this, but might have to. I don't know that there's some good stuff in here. Wow, this is like good titles, Ricky. Dear Lord. Oh yeah, this is all the so this is someone who collected the, the good stuff. All the RPGs. Look at that. Fatal frame, Fatal Frame 2, Fatal Frame 3. Okay. Yeah, this is Stuff, dude. Keep oh, Maybe we are going in on it. Let's see, look at this though. All the amiibos. I know this is a Ricky box right here. Come on, nobody wants the amiibo box, Dusty. Nobody wants the amiibo box. Ten bucks. What's in here, Ricky? Just so much more amiibos. Oh, dude. The, you remember that? This is a DVD. Yeah, you need it? This is that's a DVD worth a lot of money right here. Here you go. Got it? Here you go, sir. Um, wow, that's awesome. Look at GameCube box, big box, Beatles rock band. That rock band's worth a lot, actually. Xbox 360 Elite. What the heck is that? I know who that is. Look, you know, the, you know the parody of scary movies? This is the guy that goes, kick my good hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love My hand, the other hand. Kick my good hand. Here, oh, take my hand. Ah, come on. We need to buy this. This thing is actually sick, though. Imagine this in the podcast oh, it's studio. Terrible. It's a... Uh, oh, is it paper mache? Yeah, it's, it's foam. Look. What? Yeah, check it out. Oh my gosh, it so is. You, you get, I try to give him a high five, I almost, <laughs> yeah. I almost broke. <laughs> yeah. Wow, those look nice, dude. The Star Wars lightsabers, the good ones that are in the box. Yoda, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan. I asked Dalsam, his favorite Star Wars character, and he answered, he said, Yoda, fire. <laughs> Yoda, fire. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was good, I'll give you a two out of 10 joke. Come on. <laughs> These are sick though, dude. Probably like 90. That's what you think they're about worth? No, I think that's how much they're asking. You think that's what he's asking? Yeah. Ask him. Benicio. I think they're worth like two. 200 each ish? Probably. Like 150 to two. So as a joke, Ricky yells, guys, everyone in the back of this car because literally there's just a ton of people gathered around this, around this random car. What? Where's he going? Everyone to the back of this car. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening back here? Wait, why is, oh, that's why. Oh, look, our boys. Uh-oh. Oh, Jojo. And then we realized, holy crap, this is, Ricky was just joking, we had no idea, but there's some of our friends buying some stuff. And I'm like, okay, that's cool, of course, we all get good deals, happy for the friends getting deals. And then I see a sealed Wario Woods NES. Dang, Jojo. Let's go, Jojo, Jojo. Ooh, look at, look at this, the boys. I love that I'm filming between people's legs right now. <laughs> Spread them so I can see. Here, here, come in, come in. Oh, some good stuff. Let's go, boys. Ooh, heck yeah. 
Let's see JoJo. Nice, dude. They didn't want. Ricky's looking at the leftovers. Three a piece. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 30. There you go, 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Sold, just like that, all the leftovers. Let me show the leftovers. Go ahead. I mean, yeah, I'm Home Alone, Batman, Tetris, <laughs> Aladdin, Lion King. I kick anything. <laughs> Still not bad for leftovers, y'all. Glover? Yeah, come on, Ricky, let's go, my boy. You get something out of Wario Woods was the last game made officially for the Nintendo Entertainment System here in America, and my gosh, the, the seal on this thing is clean. It's mint. I'm like, I have interest. So I go over to Jojo, our buddy who bought it, and I'm like, dude, I have real interest in buying this. What do you want to do? So I'm not going to lie, Jojo got a great deal over there. The one I was eyeing, Ricky and I have been really into the sealed stuff lately. Behind the scenes, I'm not even so much on the camera. We've been looking, this, this is a clean Wario wood is sealed. Seal? It's sealed, 100% sealed. Jojo, what's what's your price? $3,000. Oh my gosh. 150? 180? 155. 165. 160. 165. 160? Wanna flip a coin? For how much? For 160 one... and 165. Okay, sure. Right. I don't have a coin. Let's flip a dollar. Ready? All right, we're gonna flip this. Ready? All right, he's flipping this. Jojo, heads or tails? Oh my tails. God. Just flip it, Ricky. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Oh. Tails, all right, so 160. 165. Get out of here! All right, here we go. So hopefully after watching our show, you feel like you'll know more about how educated you are about swap meets. It came down to 160 after a, a, a dollar flip and I am so happy. The game's not only worth more than that, but it's staying in the collection, and ladies and gentlemen, it is clean, it is mint, and that box, that purple is clean, it's pretty. I'm gonna grade it too, just because I want to, because I think it will grade high. Leave it in the collection, up on the shelf as uh, part of the set. I'm feeling good about that. Ricky, I'm glad you screamed nonsense and made us run to that car. Me too. Someone called me Papa. <laughs> Papa? <laughs> Think that's pressure? Try Wario's Woods, the new action puzzle with falling bombs to stack, critters to whack, and Wario at your back. This little bundle, look. Oh, Kaboom's in there. That's like my favorite Atari game. Kaboom. It's got video pinball, Kaboom freeway, missile command, Mrs. Pac-Man, tennis, miss, oh, boxing. Boxing. I was hoping it was, dude, dude, dude it looks like two Geo dudes going at it. Now, if anybody knows, cool. the game you want to be looking for is a game called Air Raid. Oh, you know how much oh. that's worth? Stop it. <laughs> I just had like a mild heart attack when you did that. What's Air Raid worth right now? I have no idea. Jared, right next to Ben, throw it on the screen right here. The price, there you go. $37,000. You might not even be wrong. <laughs>you buying it, Ricky? I guess. How much? 55. There you go. Uh, I haven't seen you buy an Atari before, Ricky, I don't think. I, I haven't bought an Atari in probably like seven years. Hey, Ann, I'm going to personally test it for you. I like this. This, yes. is, this is awesome. Free testing service. Dude, that's um, awesome. Ben, yes. he's the man. Do you do HIV testing as well? Uh, <laughs> not yet. Soon to be planned. I'm actually wondering, Ricky, in that song, so tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want to tell you. Do they say what they actually want or do they not? Do they? I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna oh, wanna. they wanna zigzagas smorgasbord or whatever, right? Yeah, let's do that. What the heck? Freaking. They wanna have some tacos. Wow, <laughs> way to be racist to Ricky and Eddie, dude. That actually does I would sound like good. Some tacos. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you don't know is we've been back and forth to Dusty's booth so many times. No one's bought out that big lot yet. And there was so much crazy stuff in there, like high end PlayStation stuff in the box and boxes in the back. So, I don't think it's gonna happen, but just wanted to update you of what's been going on. Look at those glasses Ricky those found. Dude, is it really Duke Nukem yeah. 3D? He thought he was gonna pull the wool on me, dude. That's hilarious. I didn't, I didn't do anything, I just gave it to him. Like, That's how funny, much? dude, how much for that box for Amiibos? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, so I've been trying to get Dusty just to sell me that box for Amiibos. He only wants to sell everything as a lot for like 10 Gs. No one wants the Amiibos anyways, except for us. <laughs> I know, perfect. Ask him, ask him, ask him. You ask him, ask him, let's see. Yeah, how much for the box of Amiibos? For looking or for touching? Uh, Thank you, Brian. For Thank touching. You. Just come back, come back. All right. I don't even know if I needed these yet. I'm gonna have to look. Clacks and bases loaded three over at the booth of Dusty who's refusing to sell anything much at all with like 10 million items. Clacks, bases loaded three. So clacks is like a super unique, kind of like a, not like a Tetris, but tiles flip, like a tile flipping game. 
but then he got bases loaded three. I think it's 1991, don't quote me on it, but I think it's 1991. Great music throughout, which is pretty uncommon for like a baseball game, especially in the NES days, to keep music going throughout. But then also, you have good voice sampling. Good voice sampling in an NES game is not something you see all the time. There's some good ones. This is Reem, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know who that is, do you? Good voices on this really good. Get the ball, get the ball. Ricky, that's Blades of Steel again. <laughs> Idiot. So these are two games that I don't even know if we needed, but you had to buy them when you see them CIB. So let me look on my thing and see if we need it today because Ricky is here and he's really <laughs> Clacks we did need. I think I did know that I needed these. Maybe I don't. Uh, base is loaded, base is loaded, base is loaded three. Holy Monino, look at that. Base is loaded three. Off. That puts us at a whopping 713 NES games on our Sega Genesis Dreamcast Pursuit. I feel like Dusty knew I needed those NES games. I feel like. Ricky, yo, there's some decent stuff. There's like a little wacko over here. Ooh. Oh shoot, there's nudity right there. I'm gonna cover that. And then, remember Reboot? Yeah, remember the show Reboot? Look at it. the Fleer cards. Oh dang, I've never really seen those before, the, the Reboot ones. They're pretty cool. Oh, most of them are open. Yeah, they're, they're open. They sliced them open. Dang. And then, I saw PlayStation 1 controllers over there. Over there I see like all the Star Wars Episode 1 like little guys. So this booth has a sign of life, Ricky. Oh Ricky, you would like this. Oh, Mario Mushroom. That's exactly what I was thinking. Ricky, I'm not joking. I literally thought you were holding that. No, I wasn't looking. Oh my, I literally thought you were holding it. But dude, talk about, wanna see a come up? Let's see. Jetsons, Flintstones, oh, and Wacky dude. Races. All here. Dang. Jetsons, Flintstones, and Wacky Races. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ricky, that looks real and that weirded me out, dude. Oh, really? I'll be honest with you. That weirded me out. I kinda wanna get it just like. <laughs> Ricky, the more I look at this booth, I mean, look at, you got vintage Star Wars Pez. Ooh. Aren't people Pez collectors? These ones look old to me, unless I'm, I don't know anything about Pez, but I might have to research these Poppy Moninos a little bit. Dude, Ricky, my rollerblades, be on that movie. They have Poncho Sanchez, be in Sabroso. Oh, dang. Makes me want to get a taco again, dude. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I really did, do need to do this. I'm getting weak, dude. I'm getting flabby. All these, I need all this strength to pull up some more NES games. Let me see. There's a game. There's another game. Yeah, yeah that'll work. Excuse me, I'm cleaner. Can I clean here? <laughs> and Anatoly. <laughs> yo. No, you mean yo. Gee. Bear. That's vintage, dude. 50s. Huckleberry Hound. Wait. Are we dumb? I don't know. I thought it was Yogi Bear. It is Yogi Bear. But Huckleberry Hound. I know Huckleberry Hound. Oh, oh look at those are cool. The old Donald Duck Ooh. and uh, Snoopy uh, bowling balls. That's cool stuff. Alonzo always has cool stuff. Man, there's just some really cool stuff lying around this place. All right, here comes some exciting news. So this is our friend, Eddie. Eddie's been a good friend of ours for a while. He actually helps us make some of our hats. He does some awesome embroidery work. You gotta check him out, but we're going to do a deal with him right now at his car. He's been holding some stuff for us that he wants to sell us. I'm not sure though it's if stuff for the collection or if it's stuff to sell. I have no idea yet, but let's go find out. All right, let's see. Let's see what's in here. Okay, Ooh. what do we have, Eddie? What, it, what are we buying? I don't even know, and I don't even know the price, but let's, let's dive into this. So I put this deal together with Eddie. Eddie messaged me and he's like, hey dude, I gotta get rid of some stuff. I'm like, awesome. Me and Riff will take whatever you got. Honestly, I didn't realize how much stuff he had. So we head over to the car. He opens up the boxes. I'm like, dude, this is even more stuff than I thought. All right, what do we got, Eddie? Show us the goods, baby. Open it, dude. So that's one. Ricky, here you go. You can open this. Ooh, look what's in here. <laughs> Dang, these are in the box. Check this out. Wow. Check that one out first, Benny Bull. Ooh. Wow. See, are those sealed, Eddie? They're new. Wow, I know these are, these are nice. The camouflage Xbox controllers in both colorways. When we opened it, the first thing I saw was the Halo controllers. And I always think of Gabo when I see the Halo stuff. And I remember hunting with Gabo a long time ago and he's like, hey, those like sealed box Xbox 360 controllers are such a cool thing. And ever since then, they've been cool to me. So to see him as the first thing he pulled out, I thought it was rad. 
And then Ricky, look what he's opening over there. Dude, two 3DSs, the purple one. And, oh dang, look how clean this blue one is. Look at these, Ooh. dude. Those are pretty. These are pretty. We have 3DS consoles, DSs. It was just an amazing amount of stuff, dude. I love the colors, man. These DS are really nice. Killed it with their colors, man. I wish NES was early enough, like in the like custom color days, but they weren't. We didn't get any like crazy looking NESs like we did N64s and DS. So that's the only thing that always makes me this sad about the NES, the right. earliness of it. All right, what do we got? Next box, bro, open it up. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. the Sega oh, Master SMS. System. Wow, dude. Ooh, Vigilante. Yay. This was a huge game for me as a kid. So was this. Rastan Man. Rastan Man. No, come. Ooh, so was. Wow. These are like literally some of my most played Sega Master System games right here. Is this Shinobi? That's Shinobi, is the great Gabo. Is there stuff in here? Yep. Are these comics? All Sonic? Let's go. Dude, I'm going to have to sell these to Jason Griffith so he can go sign them and sell them at his. Because <laughs> it's funny. He They actually probably might want to buy these from me. It's like, no joke. He's normally, his manager reaches out to me. He's like, hey, if you find Sonic stuff that I can have him sign to sell, do it. So he might want these. Heck yeah, dude. There's a couple Mega Man in here. Oh, right here. There they we go. They can send those too. Dang, but Dr. Robonic looks like he lost a little weight there, you know? Look at Mega Man's with Sonic. Right there. Little what the frick? Mega Sonic. Wow. wow. And then what's that? <laughs> Your voice cracked. <laughs> Shut up, Ricky. Stupid. Ooh, what's all that? Dang. I mean, what's all Game Boy? Game Boy Pocket with Dang. Ken Griffey. Ooh, I called that. DS. Ooh. DS. Oh Another boy, DS. now we're getting into the. Dang. Oh shoot. Look at that. Wait. That is... No, we didn't get the box for this. We no. just got the Super Nintendo box one. Wow. Let's -a go. Holy Monino. Ooh, spicy that is a spicy meal. And right here to the Super Mario Bros. 25th, 25th anniversary. So Dang, dude. Dude, it's not. that's not even it. Look. Wow. So what do we owe you, Eddie? What do we owe you, Eddie? On camera, what, what, yeah. what's the price? <laughs> cool, no, no, I'm not that guy. I'm not to put the camera in the face. No, we already guy. agreed on a price beforehand. Yeah. We already all right, then cut, make it look bad, all right? <laughs> Gosh. But will you go lower when the camera's off? <laughs> not only that, he brought gifts for us. Tons and tons of gifts, great stuff. Oh. Ooh. Then Eddie Ooh. just said, hey, I have gifts for you guys. And it's just magazines. Ooh, Pokemon 2000, Dang. Final Fantasy, yes. Mario Kart Wii Wii. It's your favorite. Tom Raider. Hello. Pokédex. Ooh. Dang, dude, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, shoot, and more Pokemon down there. Oh, heck yeah. Ooh, that's the Emerald. Emerald one, too. And then what's in this thing? You said there's more? Game Informers. Okay, that's a heavy one, yeah. Ooh, all good Holy covers. Cow. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you, Eddie Thanks, Spaghetti. Eddie, bro. I appreciate you, my boy. My boy, my boy. Oh, oh, book really? Book? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. A pick and a flick adventure. That's a, a great game, by the way, just so you know. Sick. What's all this? Pixel Plus. Our Pixel Plus hats, by the way, like I said, Eddie makes our hats. If you want them, check us out on Whatnot. That's where we're normally doing our hats. Go on Whatnot, we put them in the Buy It Nows. Simple, easy. And this is some like testers. Oh yeah. Ooh. The new like surf style logo we're playing around with. Oh my, that looks awesome. Yes. That looks so awesome. These are mine? Oh my gosh, that looks wow. so rad. Yes, let's go, dude. Thank you so much. These are awesome. This might be my favorite one right here. I've seen this channel somewhere. One time I watched it and I hated it. What channel is this? Nobody knows. I think it's called Garbo. <laughs> Garbo the Garbage Pail? <laughs> Come back yourself. All right, Eddie brought NES games to apparently sell us that we haven't looked at yet or don't know anything about. Ready, Ricky? Let's see. Let's see what we need. Oh, he's out there on the side. I'm guessing this is Zelda. So what do we got? We got some tensions. Are these all ones we need? Yes. Pac-Man, RBI. Oh, I just got clacks though. What was that? I just saw you pull something aside. Link, let's go. The gold car. Ooh, Ooh. yes, Mario's missing. That's a he's good found. one. Let's go. That's the one Gabo <laughs> got last when he collected his set, when he was pretending like he actually wanted to keep an NES oh, collection. Oh, yeah, that's true. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> As we're wearing the Gabo hat. <laughs> Mission Impossible, not today. Mission is possible. Taboo, the sixth sense. Batman Ooh. Returns. Oh, I just bought it from Elliot. That's okay. I'll still buy it. It's okay. NES. We do need NES open. Isn't that wild? Oh. We need Spy versus Spy. What are the odds? And I just got the CIV. Dang it. <laughs> Dusty New, Dusty New. What was the one that you just pulled over there? This one's actually going to be a gift. A gift? Yeah. There's one condition. The yes. The sticker cannot come off. The sticker cannot come off. Okay, let oh, me wow. see. Let me see. All right, what do we got? What is it? Oh, that's oh, wow. awesome. And $6.29? He even has a date. Not only oh, that, what's he the has date? a coupon. 
2023 Arizona. Are you sure, bro? Yeah. Dude, thank you so much. I just watched the Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary the other day. And all I was thinking is, man, Arnold looks a lot better than Ricky did at his age. <laughs> This is, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he looked better than everyone in the world. Literally. <laughs> the actual world. better than me. Wow, dude. And plus that last action hero at the end, that was like the cherry on top. Can you guys realize how much that game is? It's like a $100 game that he gifted us. Those nine games we needed put us at 722. Dang, look at, look at this. 629. Eddie, thank you. Well, we came back to Dusty's booth for one final attempt, Ricky. Yeah. And I think for the first time, we just can't come to a deal. It's just too much can't stuff. Catch. Too much. Because of what we bought last week. It's true. We, we got a lot last week. Too much stuff to go through, even though that's great stuff in there. I, I feel like we, if we didn't have that last lot last weekend, we would have said yes. I feel like if we went through every box, we would probably come up with a different price. Yeah. But we don't know what's in there. Yep. It's a lot of time and energy that we don't have right now. Yeah. I'm tired. I want to be Ricky's baby. All right, y'all. I think it's time to finally show something big that I didn't get at the swap meet. I got a while ago and um, pretty crazy that I have it. These are what are called Famicom Box video games. So Famicom Box, if you don't know, the Famicom Box is basically Japan's version of the M82 cap, which a while ago Ricky got in the show. If you didn't know, it's like a display unit, sometimes even used in hotels, and it's basically a way for people to test out Nintendo games, different versions of Nintendo games. What's interesting about Famicom box games as well, you know what the Famicom is. The Famicom is a console where the carts are about this big. Famicom box games, by the way, this is Wrecking Crew and Wild Gunman. They're in the shape of NES games. Super interesting. Why would they do that? Not put actual Famicom size games in there, but they didn't. These are very hard to come by and they're very obscure. Even looking on eBay, they're like $400, $500, depending on the one. I'll be honest, I got lucky. I got mine on whatnot for like 120 bucks each on those. Super thrilled when I got them, but those are the kind of finds when you get that stuff, when you see it, snag it. I'm telling you, there's a couple I didn't buy on whatnot because I was like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Huge, massive regret. And now I'm looking out for the actual Famicom box itself. The big box, I think they're anywhere from like three to five grand, but that's next on my list, these have me sparked, and I freaking love that I own these now. And with that, these obscure freaking gems. Put us at, what do we say, Ben? 724? Yes, sir. 724 NES games in the set. Homer's just jamming out right here, look at that. Uh, 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 uh. What the, are these like newer versions of like the old, it's supposed to be like, oh, they're Funko? All right, don't get mad, Funko community. I was literally about to say, no wonder they look so crappy. <laughs> Sorry, Funko people. Ricky. Yo. Um, okay, two things that just are weird to me. First of all, what is this Elmo-shaped looking thing that says Wet and Wild on it? I'm not gonna comment. Then there's this <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street like costume kit, but then even weirder, Ricky, this would be good for you, dude. The Flamin' oh, Hot Crunchy dude. Cheeto cosmetic brush set. I don't need, dude, I, I don't even need to eat Cheetos anymore. I can just paint my fingers red. And that'll do That's it. a good idea. Dude, yeah. you know, it's like, you know how you get that fire burn out of your butthole when you eat this stuff? Yeah. Maybe you can just paint this on the tip of your sphincter and they'll have the same feeling. Whoa. But, oh, that's cool. I was looking at that, Ricky. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was like, Ricky, what are you doing? You're gonna grab that thing. What is that? Let me see the bottom of it. What year is this from? The newer one. Is it newer? Yeah, it's from the movie. Oh, dang it. I thought it was gonna be like an OG one. I was very excited. Sorry, Doug. I was excited. It's still pretty Ricky. cool. You've ruined my life, dude. Can I have a Nintendo Power Shirt? Uh, if, if I give it to you, then your life won't be ruined anymore? My life's been ruined, dude. Ever since we started YouTube in 2012. Well, if it was gonna help you, I was gonna give it to you. Oh, dang it. What was that, Ricky? Look, Dr. Wiley. Oh, wow. The newer one, but still cool. That's awesome. And look, Ricky. Ooh. Mario, Power Rangers stickers, dead stock? Oh. Okay. Okay, this, you know? It's got potential, dude, it's got potential. There's some serious potential at this booth right now. Oh, dude. The coveted Coco action figures. Oh, dude, this is the freaking Kung Fu Heroes Nintendo prototype display of what they look like. Whoa. You don't have to pretend for me. What the? Uh... <laughs> Ricky. Yeah. Look at this. Oh. I've never seen this one of you. What? No, I thought it was Lord of the Rings because it's a nutshell pass. Ah! Ricky! 
So I picked up that shirt. I couldn't find it. I searched up. I, I want it, but I couldn't find it on eBay or anything. So, Dude, I think it's amazing. I think it's pretty sick. Yeah, we, we think it's like GameCube Wii era. I'm going to say GameCube just to make it we'll a little GameCube. more cool. Well, so it's probably Twilight Princess era. Probably the rarest shirt you've ever seen, right? Yeah, rare. So rare. Eddie, I, thought, I used to think this one was rare, but that one. Eddie, rarest shirt you've ever seen, right? Very rare. There we go. Ben? Is that you chirping? Go, Ricky, go. Was that La Cucaracha? Thank you. <laughs> I gotta stop with the racist jokes. Uh, Ricky, this is probably your favorite Land Before Time. Is it the migration one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, Ricky. Yo. Look at how many games there are here. It's it's like no bangers, but there's no like it's all pretty decent. It's actually, it's like a fifteen twenty dollar game. That game is. Yeah. Look at ballers right there. NBA Ooh. ballers. Metal Gear. We used to love Call I of Juarez. I love Call of Juarez. Before, yeah, it was great. We used to play that game, man. A lot. Make Call of Juarez great again. Wow, I just said, make Call of Juarez great again. What is wrong with me, dude? You know what it was? It's We played this, and then we finally got into uh, Red Dead, Red Dead uh, Redemption. Red Dead Redemption. Dude, brutal legend. Okay. I know you're a big Jack Black fan. <laughs> so the last place, I just got this for five bucks, like a $20 game. There you go, there you go, helping build my NES set. But look at this booth. Games, games, games. Toys, toys, toys. Toys, toys, toys. We used, we got a ton of we used last week. Ricky, anything good over there? Yeah, there's some There's some DS's. A color? Oh. Is that an official color? Yeah, it's a white one. What the Johnson? Dude, I don't need your race again, dude. What? Right. Let's see what we got here. Elevator action, Cobra Command, a boy in his blob. Abadox. Ooh, OG Game Boy. Gyarados. Good job. Bro, ask me another one. I know them all. Right here. Charred Twinkle. Nope. Those are my favorite ones, Dragonite. Oh, I knew that, actually. Dang it. Mewtwo. Right there. Yeah. Zapdos. Yeah. Good is job. it really? Yeah. Dude, I feel really good is. about that. That's actually a new learning one for me. Hey, dude, what about this one? Oh, look at those Mighty Maxes. Ooh. Man, let me see those. Oh, those are awesome. Man, Do you know the names? Do you remember the names? I'm not good with the names on Mighty Max. Norm. McDonald. Max. Virgil. That's Seriously? all I remember. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, that's, that's better than I knew. Look at that Usagi right there. Yo, fireworks, dog. Bro, oh, that's illegal. So we're leaving the swap meet, swap meet right now. What a whirlwind of so much stuff today. I can't even believe all the stuff we found and saw and bought Wario Wood sealed out of nowhere, like unplanned. Yeah, other CIB NES games, but nothing crazy. But Wario Woods, did I say Wario where? Wario Woods sealed for a good deal. Now I'm going to buy more stuff that for the collection that I don't know again. This is the most bittersweet, beautiful thing Ben said. He brought me some stuff, so it's time to see what Benny Boy brought. So we get here and Ben does in fact come to me and say, yes, I have NES games that you need. And the games he brings as I go to my trunk he whips them out. Okay, I have my booklet. Ben, now do we know if I need these games? Okay, as of two days ago, oh, they no. were not checked off, but you got so many irons in the fire. Who knows, <laughs> who knows? Let's see, yes. I'm curious to see them, let's see Okay, them. they're not bangers. Okay. But I think, so I've been going, going through my NES collection, yeah. and I kind of been reevaluating which games I want to keep. Okay. And so these didn't make the cut. So bonks in here and all that. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, stadium events. Okay, let's see. Okay. I don't have Athletic World. I don't. Okay. Well, hold on. There's a variant. This is the Family Fitness one. Yes. And which is the five screw. Yes. So do you need that one? I think so. Okay. I'm almost positive. All right. Ooh, this is a good one. Yes. Isn't this one valuable too? Uh, that one is pricey, yes. Untouchables by Ocean. Ocean and always makes interesting games. There's a blue variant of that, but obviously that's not. There the is one. a blue variant yeah. of this, absolutely. Ocean games too are always a little bit more. I feel like have like a weird art style to them. I feel like all the Untouchables game, Untouchables Ocean games have a deal, different feel to them. Oh, just got this from Eddie, but I'll still Eddie, buy it. Off Eddie you. skunked me. I'll still buy it off you just to get. The, hey, I think my copy's better condition, so. Sorry, Eddie. Captain America and the Avengers. That's uh, not super pricey, but this a little bit value. This is a really good game. 
play as Captain America, you can play as Hawkeye, I choose playing as Captain America, the way you throw your shield, the hit boxes that you use to get your power-ups and stuff, super cool, what a nice. fun game. This is a game that uh, was not a childhood game when I got back into Nintendo collecting, like after my like late teens and got back in, this is one of the games I played all the time. Cool. Desert Commander. I do need Desert Commander. It's a low end one, man. It's a low end, but it's always yeah. been one that uh, you don't see as, as often. It's Kemco, by the way. So, very cool, Ben. Let's yes, see. Sir. Let's mark these puppies off. Oh, baby. So, Ben, that was four games, but the problem yes, is I haven't been putting the stuff in my One Up app today because I've okay. been going back and forth. So, Jared, Mr. Editor, whatever the last count was, add four, mm. and that's our NES count right now. And then he pulls out some games, I would say even more expensive games. I mean, there's Batman Returns in there. There's the the last one I need for my Advanced Dungeons and Dragons video game set. I think it's Pool of Radiance. And then the last one, Last Action Hero, but funny enough, I just got that from Eddie. So now I guess I have two copies of Last Action Heroes. Dude, Aaron, we got more, man. Honestly? We get a few more. A few more? A few more, a few more, a few more. <sighs> The Bittersweet Symphony. Oh Let's boy, go. oh boy. They're bagged up. Okay. They're bagged up. They're bricked up, did you say? <laughs> I said bagged. Oh, you said they're bricked up. I was like, bro, don't say that. Oh, catch. Oh, oh gosh. Oh boy, I'm ready. This is so exciting. Are yeah. these the ones I need? I think so. Ooh. I don't know. You've gotten so many people looking There's for a you. stack. Batman Returns, Eddie got me. Okay, so, okay. I, I still will take it though. I'll still will take sure? it. Yes. Okay, let me preface this. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Gabo sold me some games. Got it. And as I've gone through all the games I have, yes. these have some very minor blemishes. And you're extreme. I am kind of extreme. a snob when it comes to NES. Extreme unfortunately. Yeah. when it comes to NES. Yeah, so so these are the Gabo games. Cool yes, of you, Radiance. That's your last one you need for... Um, the advanced ones. Correct. Let's yeah. go. Let's go, bro. Okay, pull of Radiance. Starship, yeah. Starship Hector has always been one of my favorite names of a video game because it's so... Stupid. Yeah. What a stupid. I want to meet Hector. I haven't played it yet. You know, Might and Magic. Beautiful box yep, art by yep. Sammy. Mickey's Adventure in yes, Numberland. Sir. And I'll, yeah. still, I'll, I'll still buy it off. Are you sure? I'll still buy it off. Okay, you. then you it know, stays in the family. You know from bro, keep it in. Yeah, oh, let's yeah. go. That, that, but, yeah, sure, I'll buy it off you. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out later. Okay, how many? Okay. So that's Jared. On top of that, add. No, no, no. One, two, three, Four more to that last count that you just threw up. I don't even know where we're at. This is exciting for me. Take it Woo! away, internet Woo! screen. Woo! 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> White man can jump. So, Ben, uh, Ben, the hide behind the camera. Thank you for your due diligence and loving the collection. Well, of hold on, hold on. There's more, bro. There's more. NES games? Yes, NES games! What did you do now, Ben? Okay. What is happening All over right. here? Oh Ready? my, oh! Oh god, Eddie, hold on, hold these, okay. Down, set, hike, 69! Okay, let's go! Everybody, are you, blue, 42, 69! Oh my gosh, let's go! <gasps> yes! By the way, misspellings. Yep. El Every one of them, yeah. Eliminator. Bo boat Duel, great. Game. Again, these are from the Gabble Collection. I, I already see one here that I'm so happy is Yep, here. yep. Twin Eagle, awesome game. Romstar makes cool games as well, too. World Champ, another Romstar game. As you can see, back to back Romstars. This one is one I cannot believe I haven't had. Totally Rad is a great game. Underrated game. In the world of side-scrolling platformers, nobody talks about Totally Rad. It's not amazing, but it's super cool. It's super fun, and dare I say, it literally is like a Totally Rad style game. Nice. It has that feel to it. The character in it is very fun looking, kiddish looking, almost like Mega Man without his helmet on type game. Oh, okay. Wait, hold yes, 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 I know. You, you already had this checked off, but okay. I didn't know if you wanted the other variant. I'll buy both. Because there's a gun variant. I'll buy a, both. A bar variant, sorry. There is, and I'll buy both because I'm not sure which variant I already have, so this will guarantee. Did I, ben, is that it? That is it this time. Are you, are three, you sure? Three times are, a charm. Three you times a charm. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much do I owe you is the, is the real oh, It's like a thousand bucks. 
A thousand bucks. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a thousand. <laughs> Jared, add five more. What? So I'm back at home and oh my, it's been like six hours since the event and I have been going through the games that I got off Ben and we didn't have prices at the time. So we were like, hey, go home and see what they're worth. I wish I would have known. I would have bought them anyway, but okay. So this one I knew was worth money, but I didn't realize Might and Magic was worth much, but it was. Uh, this was the one I had no idea. I think this was like 65 bucks or so. Really? Mickey's Adventure in Numberland? Good grief, Matilda. And then this one I did know as well, of course, but I'm happy on this one because look at this. Yeah, I'll have to get my mini box made for it, but look at that. The Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. You got Dragon Strike, Heroes of Lance, Hills Far, and Pool of Radiance. Now I officially have the Dungeons and Dragons set complete of these. If I have to be honest though, by far and large, my favorite thing of the day by far is the Wario Woods NES game sealed. It was like completely random, not planned. Yeah, with Dusty and other vendors and things like that. Yeah, I admit that of course they know what I need, which is why nine times out of 10, when I go to their booth, they're like, hey, here's some games. And I'm like, wow, shocking, big event. It's some games that I needed. Now I'm thankful for those and those relationships are huge because without them, this would not be possible as fast as it's been happening or at all. To be honest, again, I've been collecting for 13 years on YouTube and I've seen maybe 70, maybe 60% of these games actually in physical person. So for this to happen the way it did, I am so freaking happy. My goodness, this wall, this wall and this world happening might be one of my favorite things happening currently in, in my life, plain and simply. It's just such a cool thing to be going through. <laughs> and with that, thanks for watching. I'm having such a fun time with you all, uh, just hanging out with everybody at the Swami. It's been so cool just meeting so many people out there out in the wild, just having fun with us. But you know what time it is.